this one name I love to call look at that. The name of Jesus Demons can't withstand No other name I know I can deliver At the mention of the name Every knee must bow Hello once again Today I want to talk about the changing of buttons and the crowning of uh, King Charles III here in UK yesterday and the significance of it to the whole world. When Her Majesty the Queen of England died last year September, before her casket was lowered into the, the vault, uh, the crown was removed, the scepter was removed, the ring the, and the oil was taken and kept for the incoming king. So it took some preparation before yesterday we saw Prince Charles transited to King Charles. Now, I want to talk about that there is a power shift. You know, before a king can become a king, there are so many rigors and ceremonies privately done before we come to see the public one we saw yesterday. And uh, it was so interesting to see uh, the first time. I lived in England for three years, but I've never seen a king installed or a new queen. But yesterday, it was, a, it's a diff it was different. So what am I trying to say today? There is, the Lord has been talking to me about this, that there is a shift in the spirit. There is a button change. Because when the queen transited, the button was, there was a button released. Or yesterday, King Charles officially took hold of that button. That scepter is the scepter of power. There is no king that will reign without a scepter. Scepter is the scepter of authority. Yes, the ring simply, you know, signifies that he's now a king. And then the crowning as well. Yesterday we saw that King Charles was anointed by the bishop. Those bishops that were present, they anointed the king for his new role as a king. You know, and I often say that we, the priests, don't even know the awesome power that we carry. Did you see what happened yesterday? The king now down so the priest go anoint him my god if only we know the significance of that can you imagine the whole king of united kingdom knelt down why is it, he knelt down for what he knelt down to the authority of jesus because he, he swore an oath yesterday and you know, and made the public declaration that the Lord Jesus is his Lord and his Savior. And um, in this hour, in this season, we are going to be seeing different shifting, different realignment. Things have gone out of alignment, but God wants to bring it, um, He wants to bring us back to realignment. Things have shifted, the patterns have changed. We saw it clearly yesterday when the button officially switched over to Prince to King Charles. And something else also happened yesterday that you know in the history of this country we have never seen a woman that was divorced became a queen. <laughs> I said there is a shift. There was a shift. There is a shift. No king can become a king without the scepter of power, the scepter of authority. No king can become a king until he is anointed for that place. Even if it's in the Bible. That David was anointed for his role as a king by the prophet. So, the significance of 
of the role of the priest is enormous. And that's why some kings that don't know their place, they become, maybe because sometimes they think because they are now kings, they can do and undo. No, that is what happened to King Bethsaida. He went and drank from the cup of the Lord unworthily. And what happened? He now saw a hand written on the wall. Mini, mini, teko. Yes. He died that night. Even though the king he has power, authority, but you do not, there's a, there's a, <laughs> there's a demarcation you do not cross. You cannot cross it. You cannot, you know, exchange the role of a priest to that of a king. The the priest has to anoint the, the, the king for his for his reign. Who Lord who put the crown who put placed the crown upon King Charles yesterday? It was the bishop, I bishop of Canterbury. He was the one that placed the crown on his head. Symbolizing now you are you are now a king. And he prayed, they consecrated him with that oil. With oil. That oil representing Holy Spirit. My God. So we really saw, I saw the Bible come to life for me yesterday when I saw King Charles being, being um, crowned as the new king of the United Kingdom. We now see that we, the priests, we need to step up our role. We need to know who we are in Christ. We need to know that God has delegated his power and authority to us. <laughs> Glory be to God. It was the prophet that went and anointed King David. Yes. He was the one that anointed him. Yesterday we saw the priest. When I said the priest, the archbishop. And they placed the crown upon Queen Star's head. They gave him the ring, symbol of authority. It's a signature. So that ring, he can place it as a seal. That scepter is the staff of office. Just like Moses had the rod in his hand. That scepter is the staff of office. You know that God has given every one of us our scepter. Do you know what your own scepter is? Your scepter of authority. Scepter of authority. You know, if you look at the book of Luke 10, 19, it says, Behold, I have given you power and authority. Glory be to God. To trample upon serpents and scorpions and upon all powers. All powers. Not, he didn't say some. All powers. And they shall by no means hurt us. So what I've come to just say briefly is. Beloved. There is a shift. We've seen the one in England. Took place yesterday. With the coronation of King um, Charles III. And I spoke about the significance about, uh, of the scepter. Which is the, what he was holding in his hand. That scepter is his staff of office. That is his authority. The ring in his hand is his signature. Then the crown. He probably wear that crown once again. It's only once he will wear that crown. Which was yesterday. There are other crowns he can wear. Maybe during ceremonial duties. But the one they used to crown him yesterday. I believe they said it's only one once. So God is shifting. They are shifting in the, in the whole world. If you look at some other places, there's a shift. If you look at Nigeria, there's, there's a shift. We saw something that took place that has never happened all these years in Nigeria. That was a shift from a shift from the old to the new. Yes. A shift from the old to the new. Even though the old is still trying to hold on to power, there is a shift. There is a shift. <laughs> Glory be to God. You know, so, several places, so many nations. God is shifting the atmosphere. God is shaking. 
the world, the whole world. He's shaking the whole world. The economic system was shaken during COVID. We saw how so many nations' economy came tumbling down. We saw some nations that would ordinarily not even recognize who Jesus was. But they were on the streets, screaming, putting up their hand. Oh, Lord, save us. Father, save us. When COVID was ravaging the whole world. We, the people that don't believe that was Jesus <laughs> came out publicly and crying for God to save them. That's why sometimes I laugh. I say, how foolish it is for someone to say that there is no God. You are a joker. There is a God. There is a God in heaven who sits in his throne. Who sits on his throne in heaven looking down on planet Earth. There is a shift coming to you. There is a shift coming to your nation. There is a shift coming. All those things that have gone out of alignment, God is bringing them out of, in fact, into alignment. In this season, this hour, God is bringing them. So you, we need, just need to be sensitive. And you see, there are so many mantles that are released. What do we need to do? We need to position ourselves to receive this mantle from this great, some of these great men and women. That have gone home. Their mantles are there. By faith, we, we take we take possession of them. Remember Elijah and Elisha. When the mantle was released, it came through service. It came through service. So I just want us to be more sensitive in our spirit in this hour. Be more alert in our spirit, knowing that. Well, the, the, the season where we are, I'm telling you, buttons are being changed. Mantles are being released. Things that have gone out of alignment, God is bringing them back. God is installing new kings and priests and, and kings, yes. And God is also releasing new prophets that are in the cave. God is now releasing them. God is releasing these prophets in this season. So that's why I'm saying we need to be alert. We need to be spiritually alert. So we can take possession of what belongs, what we you know, what belongs to us. There is a shaking. Because out of that shaking, there will be a remnant. That remnant is that those remnants will be the one that will push the work of God. The faithful few remnants. That is diligent. They are totally sold out to Christ. They are the one that will take hold of this button. And they will run with it. They will run with it. In the name of Jesus. So just as there's new uh, prophets. New Samuel. New Esther. New Deborah being released. God is equally calling on the old women. The God is calling on some of us, the older ones, to begin to equip, to begin to train the new um, young prophets that are released from the cave. That are released from the cave. That's why I said this season we are. Yesterday we saw, what we saw here on, on planet Earth was just King Charles being in uh, crowned as a king. But also there is a sp spiritual connotation to it. He was given the scepter of power, which is the rod of authority. He was given the, sign, uh, the, the ring, the signet ring. He was given the all, which represents the world. And also he was, the crown was placed on his head. And then he was anointed. You could have had all those things, but without that anointing, without that oil, which is the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, be released into him. What? To help him. Anoint him. You know, in the realm of the spirit. Some people, they just go about, they don't know. That's why I say, does heaven recognize you for who you are? Does heaven know if you are a prophet? Does heaven know you are called as an apostle? Does heaven know you have been called as an evangelist, um, a pastor, a teacher? Does heaven know it? 
Do you carry that seal? The seal of the Holy Spirit. The seal of the Holy Spirit. What that seal represents is God is telling Satan, Satan, this person belongs to me. He has the seal of the Holy Spirit. The seal of the Holy Spirit claiming that we are the property of God and Satan has, cannot touch us and our family and anything that belongs to us. Oh, glory be to God. I just want to thank God for what God is doing in this season in us, through us. Thank God for seeing the shift taking place. Thank God for seeing the buttons that are being released and now people are taking hold of those buttons and running with them. Now, from yesterday, King Charles is now he's got the button and is expected to run with it. He's expected to run with it. But I pray for his health, that his health will not fail him. I pray that as his stress level will not be so high that he will not be able to function in the name of Jesus. I pray for good counselors around him. That those that will give him sound counsel, sound counsel, I pray for them, for him. I pray for inner strength for him. I pray for renewing, the Lord should renew him like the eagle in the name of Jesus. I pray for peace in his family and I pray for reconciliation with him and his son in the name of Jesus. So beloved, this season we are is a new season. It's a new dawn. It's a new season. It's a new dawn. We've seen the crown of King Charles yesterday. We saw him taking hold of the scepter of power, of authority. We saw the, the ring, the signature ring, and also the crown. And then lastly, we saw him being anointed into that office of a king but it was all done through the priest it's not the other way around the king cannot anoint himself <laughs> glory be to god he has to be the priests that will anoint consecrate anoint the king for his new position the king cannot anoint the priest never it's the other way around is the priest that will anoint the king to be able to take his role. He's the priest that will anoint the king. To step into his new office. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Please help me share this video. Because you know. I just sat down. And I, I, I just felt this bubble in my spirit. To explain what is happening right now. Because some people might not even have. the pay. Oh, they were just. Oh it was a coronation. No, there was a button exchange. There was an exchange of button yesterday. Exchange of power. Exchange of um of the power sector, um, taking hold of the sector. And also the ring, the crown, and lastly, the anointing of him into his office. And the Lord bless you. My name is Dr. Margaret. God bless you. Please help me like this short video and also